We have a very close relationship with Snapchat. One of the very interesting perspectives from their team is the fact that they don't view themselves as a social network. They get lumped in a lot of times with the uh, other platforms, but the reality is Snapchat along with WeChat, along with WhatsApp, along with Cyberdust, they're ephemeral social communication platforms. That's one of the key points of differentiation. 50% of Americans aged 14 to 28 have actually tried Snapchat. So the reach in terms of the platform is, is substantial. But one of the core things to remember that is that Snapchat has moved away from being more of a, a creation platform where it was about one-to-one -one sharing, and it's now becoming more of a consumption platform with the introduction of some of their new features such as our story as well as Discover, where, where uh, branded content now comes into play. From a marketing perspective, it's important to understand that Snapchat is not necessarily uh, going to be a driver of organic reach. One of the core things in which they approach it is that the, the right way to leverage Snapchat is to partner with them in terms of aligning your brand with whatever the specific event may be. For example, like in our story, if there's a specific event, you can align your brand with the content that's being stitched together from the various users that are accessing the event. So one of the core things to remember though is that from a targeting standpoint, Snapchat's approach is opt-in. It's not, it's not highly targeted such as Facebook. Snapchat's value to brands is really around awareness versus any type of direct response function. So just keep that in mind as you're creating your next Snapchat campaign.